Hi, I'm Brandy, and in this video, we're going to be taking this bar that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace for free, by the way. I was super stoked when I seen it. I hit them up right away, um, and I was able to pick it up an hour after they had posted it. Um, I was excited about getting it. We were just about to throw a big party at the house, so this was going to be perfect for that. Um, it did have some damage on the top, so I knew that I had to do some repairs, and so I was going to go ahead and just paint it. It had a little sink, but that was a non-functioning sink there. Um, but this was the damaged piece on the top, and then there were some, you know, it was kind of uneven up there, but nothing too, um, too worrisome as I was going to keep it as an outside bar. But I did want to give it um, an updated color and probably put some um, new covers on those seats. And uh, so we were excited to get to work on this project. So the first order of business was to remove the seat covers. So that was just uh, taking some hardware out. I have uh, Gabby making a great debut in this video. She's helping me with this entire project. Um, so that was very exciting. As we were taking out the hardware, uh, Miles, the tortoise, wanted to also make his great debut. So he was down there walking around. Whenever I'm removing hardware, I always like to throw it all in either a bag or a container nearby just so I don't lose anything and when I put everything back together um, everything's all in one little spot. We repeated the process on all three bar stools. As we were working on this, uh, Miles was excited and wanting to play. Um, my dog was not wanting to play with him, so it just ended up turning into a little chasing match and uh, we were able to capture that. So I thought I'd share it with you all. It's a funny little giggle. So after all the hardware was removed and the seat covers were off, uh, we had to go ahead and start cleaning everything. So um, we used Dawn dish soap and water. Uh, Dawn dish soap acts as a degreaser, so uh, pretty easy and handy, always on hand in the kitchen. So we just got to scrubbing everything down. So while Gabby was working on the chairs, I decided to come over and address the situation that needed um, some repair here. This little piece was literally hanging on by a thread. Um, it was dangling off of one little nail. So I was able to get um, all those little finishing nails out. And then I decided to put some wood glue along the um, edge of this little piece and then it basically just fit back in perfectly. So I <clears throat> put it on there and clamped it down into place.
after wiping away the um, excess glue that had seeped out, I went ahead and started preparing the all-purpose Bondo. Um, I felt like that was going to be, well first of all, I've just been using Bondo all the time lately and I absolutely love it. It's just so easy to work with um, and it also acts as uh, another kind of sealant on that piece so I knew if I just Bondoed the top of it, it would hide <clears throat> the imperfection of where I had to reattach the piece, the big old crack there. Um, and then it's, it dries really quickly, which is another reason why I like it so much. Uh, that could be a good thing and it can also be a bad thing because as soon as you uh, put that hardener in and you start mixing it together, then you only, you know, your time is limited. You only have a few minutes to work with it before it starts drying up on you. But that's also the benefit of it because you're able to sand it very, very quickly because it dries so fast. So. Um, I just put some of the putty here on a piece of cardboard, added the hardener, uh, mix it together, and then I just started slopping it all over this place. Um, you know, I obviously, I, I put it all right here where I had attached that uh, messed up piece, and then I went on to some other areas at the top as well where the, um, the seams between the pieces of wood were very prominent. Uh, I didn't do the whole entire top because I wasn't looking for perfection. Um, I knew that, you know, it wasn't going to be perfect. The top wasn't going to be sm as smooth and as flat as um, I would like it to be had I, you know, if I was buying a brand new bar, putting one together from scratch. But uh, I did want to be able to paint it and I wanted it to look as nice as possible. And like I said, we were having that party that weekend. So, um, you know, we were up against the clock. So I just applied the Bondo and then we set it aside to dry. And then while that was drying, we went ahead and started to clean the base of the bar. Then we were ready to paint. Um, we went with a bare paint and primer um, exterior satin enamel um, in a red color. And we chose this because 
the theme of the party was going to be based around red and I love red so why not um, we just started painting the stools first using a combination of brush and roller While we were in the middle of painting, Hubby was out and picking up some new friends for the farm. So you get to meet here Meredith, a baby Cooney Cooney pig. Um, they had just arrived. And then also Toby, who is another baby Cooney Cooney pig. So welcome to the farm for them. 
uh, while um, once the chairs were done we moved on to painting the base of the bar By the time we were done with the bar, the chairs were dry, and so we went ahead and applied coat number two. After we did coat number two on the chairs, we went back to the bar for coat number two over there. We ended up only doing two coats of paint on both the base of the bar as well as the stools. Um, the top of the bar, we actually went ahead and did a third coat of paint on the top of the bar. Um, but for the base and the chairs, two coats gave it perfect amount of coverage, so we were good with that. By the time coat two was on and ready um, to dry, the top had already dried. So we were able to take the clamp off and then give the top a good sanding down, starting with 120 grit sandpaper and then moving on to a 220 grit um, to get it all smoothed out at the end before applying paint.
the wood glue, um, the clamping and the bondo really did the trick. Um, that broken piece was no longer broken. It was no longer an issue. It was nice and secured. Um, and then once we started painting over it, you never even could notice that there had been a problem there. You may be wondering why uh, we left those two open spots in the front unpainted. And that was because I wanted to put a chalkboard paint there so that um, we were able to actually use chalk and write on it. So after everything had dried on the top, uh, after the three coats, I went ahead and taped it off and then started applying the Rust-Oleum chalked chalkboard paint. Picked it up down the street at Home Depot. This was actually my first time using it. I did four coats of this total, allowing dry time in between, just because I knew that you know we're gonna be writing on it with chalk and wiping it off and writing on it again and wiping it off, and I wanted it to be durable and last um, and last some significant amount of time. So. Four coats is what um, we resulted to, and the outcome was just amazing. We were very, very happy about this project. It was very fun to do. Um, first project that Gabby was, you know, really involved in uh, willingly, and so she was pretty happy about it, and she didn't mind being on camera and making her great debut. So it was a nice, exciting day. Um, this actually the painting of this um, bar was done in one day so the whole transformation was done one Saturday afternoon I then took the seats of the bar stools inside and the covers of them they weren't I wouldn't consider them to be terrible there was no ripping or anything but they just were clearly used and kind of old so I picked up some uh, vinyl at the craft store and I just decided to go ahead and recover them that was a pretty simple process to do you know I just cut out the pieces and then um, stapled them onto the seats and pulled each edge nice and snug to make sure that it wasn't you know a saggy piece of material or anything like that. I used a lot of staples, but I wanted to make sure that it was nice and secure. And there we have it. Nice and good as new. So now um, we just had to put these suckers back on the stools. And um, I had the hardware in that little baggie nearby. So just got them drilled on in.
loved the way the chairs came out, loved the way the bar came out. Everything was just awesome. Um, we we're very happy with this makeover. It was ready in time for the party. Everybody loved it at the party. Um, like I said, quick one day flip. We did this entire project in a matter of hours. Um, it was nice and sunny out. So that made it um, very convenient for drying and all that. And this is what the finished product looked like. I uh, didn't get a chance to, you know, get my chalk out and draw on the chalkboard part, but uh, you can imagine what that would look like. Now I do want to mention that we did not paint the back part of this just because um, didn't feel a need to. But uh, for your reference, here again is the before piece. Um, what it looked like after we had picked it up off of Facebook Marketplace for free. And then this was what it looked like after our one day transformation. So if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe. I'll be coming out with new content weekly. Normally I work on um, household furniture. This time was a bar flip. Anything can happen. Thank you.